A shot of optimism tonight from the CDC, the agency out with new guidance for all those who are fully vaccinated. Hello again, I'm Max McGee. And I'm Denise Koch. Now this is one step closer to getting back to normal. So far in our state, more than one and a half million doses have been given, including nearly 565,000 second doses. And WJZ is live. Amy Kawada is breaking it all down for us and spoke to a local doctor about what you need to know. Amy. Max, Denise, well, it's important to note CDC officials say these recommendations are just a first step. Whether people who are vaccinated can get sick and transmit the virus is a big open question that will shape recommendations moving forward. It took a while, yeah, but um, I finally got one, so. For Katie Iosi, rolling up her sleeves to get a shot at M&T Bank Stadium was a big check mark off her list. Ready to get back out to traveling and, you know, seeing friends again. A feeling echoed throughout the city's mass vaccination site. I'm ready to get back to some semblance of normality. So if you received your shots, what does that really mean? What's changed and what's considered safe to do now? Being vaccinated is very effective at preventing you from getting sick, particularly severe illness. The CDC released its first set of guidelines for people who've been fully vaccinated, meaning two weeks after their second dose of the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine, or two weeks after their single dose Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Under the new guidelines, fully vaccinated people can safely visit with other fully vaccinated individuals indoors and without masks. They can also visit with with one other household of unvaccinated people who are at low risk of serious illnesses. So if you are a grandmother or a grandfather and you're vaccinated, you can visit your children, give them a hug without masks indoors. If you're exposed to COVID-19 and have no symptoms, you can hold off on getting tested or quarantining within three months of getting the shot. But there are still important safety precautions to keep in mind. Only 10% of people have been fully vaccinated right now, and so there are a lot of people unprotected. And some of the other guidance from the CDC says even when fully vaccinated, you should still continue to wear masks and social distance when out in public, avoid large gatherings, and avoid traveling. Live tonight, I'm Amy Kawada for WJZ.